outlined there, you know, for the past six years, we've lived with a Remainer chattering classes who have demonized national identity. They've described national sovereignty as being basically xenophobia. They've mocked everyone who waves the, the English flag or the UK flag. And now, lo and behold, with the crisis in Ukraine, they've discovered that actually those things are very important and they, are, uh, they have real meaning. And there's a real hypocrisy to this, you know, from people who support the EU and from the EU itself. They're now talking about how important national sovereignty is in Ukraine. These are the people who have undermined national sovereignty, not only in the UK, but across Europe over the past few decades. So I'm glad they're finally discovering that national sovereignty is important. I wish they would discovered it a bit sooner. Yes. And what they need to do is discover it for this country. And they need to actually engage with the union flag as well as the saltire in Scotland and the other um, nation's flags. I think they need to discover national sovereignty for all nations, including this one. You're absolutely right. National sovereignty is one of the most important principles in international affairs. It's national sovereignty that protects a nation from external interference, which allows us to have democracy, which gives citizenship real meaning. That's why many of us voted for Brexit. It's not because we hate Europe. It's not because we want to stop all immigration. It's because we believe in nationhood and we believe in democracy which is made possible by nationhood. And I think what the Ukraine war, what Russia's uh, obscene invasion of Ukraine, it has brought these questions very much to the surface. The right of a nation to, to self-determination, that is a really important issue. And too many in our chattering classes have been undermining national self-determination. They can't now turn around and claim to be its key cheerleaders.